Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got a quick video for you tonight. The sun's about to go down, so I realize the lighting might be kind of awkward here. But I'm sitting out here with my uh, Texas cigar box guitar that I got recently in the Texas Builder Swap. And I realize that there are gonna be some people that think that this video is sacrilege and sorry for that. But um, I made some modifications to it. I know, oh my gosh, you modified a guitar that was made for you, you're crazy. But I did talk to Steve, the builder first. And uh, first one, it drives me crazy when a headstock doesn't have a decoration. So I put a star on it. I had to. <laughs> it's just it's just my thing. And then also I put the hanger here. I mean, this is just how I hang all my uh, CBGs. So I put the little strap there that I used to hang them. But the main thing that you might see is down here. You notice uh, there's a wicked bucker and there's a switch. And let me tell you what happened here. So Steve had told me that when he built this guitar, he initially meant to put a volume pot in it for the piezo because piezos do tend to feed back so it's nice to have a volume pot. Well, he ran out of pots and so he didn't have one so he just hardwired the piezo straight to the jack. And so I was like, well, that does kind of bother me because they do tend to feed back. But I know a trick where you can take a 0.010 microfarad capacitor and put it between the piezo, basically, you know, put it between the piezo and the jack and it filters off those high frequencies and helps with the feedback. And then I thought, hey, I've got a two-way switch laying around. Why don't I hook that up and I'll turn the two-way switch into a kill switch. So if I really don't want feedback, I can just kill it, you know, if I'm in between songs or whatever. So then I started working on it and I was like, you know what might be cool since this is a two-way switch is to put another pickup in it. But you know, I didn't want to route it out or anything. But then I remembered I had one of these Wicked Buckers that I got when CB Giddy had them on sale last year. I just picked one up and threw it in my parts box over there. And uh, I was like, that would be perfect because they surface mount. Well, here's the thing, this guitar, has a pretty high action. You can see the height of this bridge here, just kinda. So um, it wasn't gonna work. So here's what I did. I just took a couple pieces of silicon tubing there that you can see, and I just put them below the Wicked Bucker and put the screws through there, and it just raised it up enough. And then that way, it's not um, it's not affecting, uh, you know, it's not uh, deadening the top to stop with that acoustic sound. There's just very little contact with the top. And it gives me another pickup option. So here is some of the tubing. I had some of this, you know, it's just like standard silicone tubing. And I just cut off a couple little snips of it and it worked beautifully to uh, get that pickup up high enough to where the strings can hit it. So, okay, so here's the PA. So again, there's the capacitor in there to trim off some of those high frequencies. <laughs> Love the sound of a piezo once you trim off those those highs it just really sounds nice and smooth and then here is the magnetic so two totally different sounds from one guitar so um you know got the little two-way switch piezo wicked bucker kind of fun right so anyway so i did make a mod to the guitar but i think steve would approve i mean he'll see this video definitely so uh we'll find out but uh, it did make it a little more me and um i do really like the sound and the way this guitar plays i wouldn't change a thing about anything with the structure of this guitar he did such a great job on right. this new new guitar to play with let's uh let's give her a little 